We'll be learning how to paint the different layers of my character, as well as how to close off surfaces that have been left open. So as you may see inside my character here, I've closed off some of the pieces like the feet and uh, the torso already so that I wouldn't necessarily need to do all of that over again. Um, in some cases, like for instance, the torso, uh, it's better for me to have a full opaque line all around because if the thigh ends up moving, um, I don't want to have a gap in the line. So what I'm going to do for these is actually just go and grab the paint bucket, which is right here on my toolbar. And I'm going to go and select the right color uh, for here. I'm going to have the shoes and I'm going to go and paint in there. Now, for pieces like these, if you want to be completely certain that they are closed off, what you need to do is go inside of your drawing and here to be able to see your strokes and be certain that you didn't leave a little gap in the line, what you need to do is press K for show strokes. If you don't like using shortcuts, you can always go through view, show, and show strokes right here. This is a shortcut that you're going to use quite often if you want to do some cleanup work, so I recommend that you learn it. And whenever there is a gap in my line, I'm going to see these two little yellow dots. Um, so right here, it's pretty obvious uh, that I have a gap in my line, but in some cases, you're going to get something like this where it's not necessarily apparent if I turn it off that I have a gap in my line because, you know, it just seems like it continues. But if I press show strokes, I can actually see that I have a really tiny, tiny gap in my line here. And this is actually going to prevent me from painting any surfaces that isn't closed. So you really want to be careful with that. Uh, one of the ways that I use to connect dots like these instead of closing them off with an invisible stroke is I like to go and select my contour editor and under my tool properties I select snap to contour and I simply go and take the dot and as I slide it it's going to snap it on top of the other one ending in a nice um, closed line so if you can't necessarily uh, do a continuous line for the, for the moment, what you can do as an alternative is go and select the Close Gap tool. By selecting the Close Gap, essentially what it does is it's going to create an invisible stroke between two lines that you try to join. Uh, it's going to try and detect uh, as close as possible the uh, both points that where you want the uh, stroke to join. So if I do something like this, it's going to create a straight stroke that is going to come and close this off. So I could have one color painted here and another painted there if this wasn't open. So what I'm going to do for these pieces is I'm going to trace a line. Um, you see that if I'm too far away from the line, it doesn't create anything, so I need to be uh, as close as possible. I don't want to go too far in because then uh, I, my line won't be as close to the edges. So ideally, I want both of my edges to join. So I'm just going to go really close when creating my line. And if I need to adjust, then afterwards it's pretty easy as well using the contour editor, I can just come and connect these two lines together. And now I have my invisible stroke. This one you can come and adjust as well if you want the color to come and fill a little bit further than a straight line. And then I'm ready to go and use my paint bucket. I'm gonna select my right color and just come and paint. And just like that, you can start filling out the other pieces of your character. I would come in and just paint in here. 
and do a few a few more like this um, at the moment, of course, our layers aren't properly aligned on the composite. We'll take care of that on the next step. For now, just take care about painting the different layers. And if some are getting in your way, once they're done, you can just deactivate them either from the timeline by clicking on the little pair of eyes here. And that way you know that they're done, so you no longer need to uh, worry about missing some. And if I go and activate my reference real quick, you'll see that there's some pieces as well on my character, such as the nose, where there's a little highlight here that doesn't necessarily have a line uh, around it. So what you can do is go and select your nose, which is right here. I'm going to keep my reference under it so that I'm able to trace with the stroke tool the uh, proper line. So again, I can just come and create this artwork. Don't be afraid to zoom in. So just using the stroke tool and the contour editor, I'm able to create a shape that will be used to uh, have a different color inside it. And then I still have my little magnet on for this. So I can actually come and snap those two points together. And now I'm able to come and paint inside it with both my colors. Remember that if you don't have show stroke active, you will not be able to see the stroke, just as I'm demonstrating now. Uh, they are still active. If I come and paint here, you can see that this one is staying uh, wide open, so you can come and paint right after. But usually when playing with strokes, I just recommend pressing K and being able to see them uh, to be able to adjust. Now another type of coloring that you may need is to paint your pencil line. For this, we are going to use the ink tool right here go and with this you select your color and simply come and paint the uh, lines that you want here see how it's automatically highlighting the uh, the pencil here it's not going to affect anything else and then from here we can just go and paint the remaining surfaces of our tie and there we go